Behold, it is worse than even I feared. A Balrog of Morgoth. We must stop that demon before it makes it through the pass. It likely draws strength from the claws of Gorgoroth. If we are to succeed, it is vital that we seize control of these abominations. Well, great. Looks like I haven't been able to spend a whole lot of time. Like, I managed to get about the 20 minutes in. <sighs> some of my forces were actually wrecked because I got attacked. So I decided to build some extra things to speed things up. Like, look, I can't. I didn't even manage to get the feathers in yet. But as you saw in the cutscene, we got ourselves a bit of an issue. Now we got um, kind of like a time limit on us now. We have Balrog, the demon of Morgoth, in this mission, and he is quite packing some rack. Like, look at this shit, he's got over a hundred attack points, and he's got 47 armor. There's no way in hell you're gonna kill him at the moment, so what you gotta do is prepare your forces immediately, which I'm doing right now. Managed to rack up quite a bit of resources actually, I like that shit. I like it when that happens. And uh, we gotta recover those claws of Gorgoth. Because without them we got ourselves a bit of an issue. You see, there are three claws. And you can probably guess what they do by now, but I'll say it anyway. For the sake of the uh, let's play. One of them is uh, used to give uh, Balrog tons of attack power, another one is used to give him tons of armor, and the third one is used in particular for uh, regenerating his health very, very, very rapidly, which is not good at all. Stop chasing my ranger. Here we go. So yeah, we got a, ourselves an issue. Now we can't quite see what each claw is. That adds an extra challenge. We have to not only get to the claws in time, but we also have to figure out if the claw we got to is any good. Now there's only three claws in the map, so you don't have to worry about any bogus claws. That would be kind of funny though. And quite bullshit at the same time. But you don't have to worry about that, so... Yeah, just look out for the claws and try to recover them. I know that uh, the rapid regeneration claw is not easy to get to. I think it might be the very first uh, claw at the top of the map. This one I believe either turns off uh, attack or armor. I don't remember exactly what it is. Let's see. Oh yeah, this uh, reduces his armor. So if you get that, we can already fight back in a way. Without the boosted armor, Balrog's gonna be much uh, easier to kill because we'll actually be dealing the damage to him and that damage well it's still gonna be regenerated mind you but he isn't going to regenerate it that easily like he's not gonna he's not gonna regenerate pretty much all of this health that he lost from just one attack because he'll be losing health a lot faster than he can regenerate unfortunately he's a very annoying dickhead who moves pretty fast so depending on when he shows up because it appears to be quite random sometimes he shows up earlier sometimes he shows up later but depending on when he shows up you might not be able to get all of the claws and you'll just have to brute force through his face. Which is not good, because you can't use hidden units against him. It just doesn't work. He's a detector. He will see through the disguise. And we got ourselves an issue. He's already next to me. 
Right now he has the super regeneration and the super strength, which doesn't help a whole lot considering the odds, but at least he doesn't have super defense, so we can still beat him. And you have to beat him, because if he gets to your base, I think that's about it. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, it doesn't say anything about him automatically making you lose the mission if he gets to your base, but come on now. He is a threat, after all. Oh shit, the screen is already shaking. He's pretty close. He's right there, actually. And I believe he actually saw us. Yep, he saw us, alright. Now, you see I'm already dealing damage to him. That's because I'm, I've turned off his uh, super defense. But that doesn't mean shit, because he's got super strength. So you gotta make sure that he doesn't take a, or take that damn claw. God damn it, he took the claw. Fuck. I never had this happen to me where he just walks up and takes the damn claw. And it's annoying how much range he has. What kind of bullshit is this? Stop doing that. Now look, you can't do anything to him. Your attacks are just worthless. So yeah, now I somehow have to go around him and take this stupid claw. Good luck with that. If he gets to the base, we can defend. That's not a big issue. We need to get the claw off of him though. Don't bother trying to get the other claws though, because they require you to actually destroy the arm. Oh come on, why are they here? Get lost. But yeah, you you won't be able to get the other claws at the moment. <sighs> Regenerated all of his health, the bastard. I would have finished him off if he didn't take the damn claw. Lucky bastard. I need more factories actually now. A good trick is to make more of the same so that you can spread out the, the workload, you know. Why did these fuckers follow me all the way here? What are they stupid? You have taken control of a place of power. Go for already there. Okay, we got the claws off of him. So that's good. Where are the other two builders? Here they are. Come on, build faster. Yeah, we got ourselves a situation now. I've never really had him get this close before. So, gotta hurry. I don't think he's gonna destroy the base, because... Well, we got the claw of uh, defense. So that part is sorted out. The part that is not sorted out is his regeneration and, well, super attack. So he may be able to do some serious damage against us. But we still have a chance. Fortunately he's getting way too damn close. We have to attack him. We have to delay the bastard now. Good thing we got the feathers. Alright, now he's taking hits. As you can see, it doesn't matter if you move the units away before he attacks, like the, before the attack hits, because you have to move them away before he attacks if you want that to matter. We have a chance, just keep fighting, just keep fighting. Jesus Christ, he got badly nuked. Yep, Gandalf's nuked. But we defeated. What? Now we need to drive this army back to Mordor. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Since when do the dead men tell tales? A candle was dead, wasn't he? How did he speak there? No, but it doesn't matter. That that was a weird glitch actually. <laughs> but it doesn't matter now because 
the Balrog is dead. So now all we have to do is make sure that uh, our army doesn't get totally wiped out and destroy all the enemies. That's it. Destroy the bases. Recover any claws that we may be missing. That's it. What do we got? We got plenty of units. We can go attack. So from here on, the mission is pretty basic. All we have left to do is march into the enemy's base and destroy it. This is where it gets interesting though. There are some stone throwers blocking the way. Why does he do that? Okay. There are some stone throwers and uh, well we might not be able to do a lot of damage to the invisible elves or we might. We don't quite know that. Others will have a bit of trouble. We will start targeting at our units whenever we actually see them. So we gotta make sure we don't see them. Get over here, you. Oh, of course. Too stupid to get close enough. Typical of the elven kind. Alright then, let's get these guys closer, so that you are able to see the unseen. I don't like Haradrims, they're just wannabe elves, but melee. Bunch of voices. Oh, my ranger is still there. Okay, good. Since when are they visible all of a sudden? What, do we have a ghost next to me or something? It's the only explanation I can think of. Let's get rid of this damn ghost. Get lost. Stop hitting me. Here we go. That's much better. We might be able to beat them with this army. That would be nice. Why do they spread out like that? Just to shoot a tower. Don't spread out. That's stupid. Without that cave, they will not be able to do much of anything. Let's get Legolas closer. Put up some powers. Oh, of course. Skeleton. Everybody loves one of these. Okay, get rid of this. There's probably a ghost nearby once again. Shooting the slave masters is a good idea, despite them being a bunch of cowards that never fight back. Trust me, it's worth the trouble. Especially in multiplayer games where they actually work properly. Because I think the, the AI is still a little cheating as it usually tends to do and doesn't actually rely on the slave masters to keep the population up, but uh, in multiplayer games they're definitely going to feel the effect of lack of slave masters. I hate how ghosts always gravitate towards other towers, just like everyone else in this damn game. Whenever the tower is gone, they gravitate towards something else. And he runs away, stupid ghost. Get these damn assholes out of here. Oh, what's this? Nothing, just a, fe a feeble attempt from the enemy's army of attacking our base. That's what it is.
destroy the tower. Alright, no ghosts. But there's definitely quite a bit of slave masters. Killing slave masters in a single player game is uh, good because we keep spreading this taint which allows the enemy to build stuff on it. We'll definitely try to rebuild all the damn time. If a taint is not there they can't build. So yeah, just keep killing the bastards. Or here's a better idea. How about just kill everything in sight? Yeah, I'm sure that'll work. Alright. Now we get the giant ant who has been sped up and received uh, immunity to ranged attacks, which makes him all the more superior. And with the destruction of that fortress. We finish the damn fortress, you. <laughs> With the destruction of the fortress, we have crippled the entire enemy base. Because it's like their stronghold. Without it and all of its upgrades, they can't do anything worth a damn. Come on, throw that rock. Yeah didn't do anything but it was nice to look at ooh that was a good shot so yeah that's it pretty anticlimactic involved a lot of elves but that's how I play it you can play how you feel like and I'll play how I feel like and if you don't like the way I play you can just shut the fuck up it is done the land of men is safe once more With the foul demon of Morgoth defeated, Aragorn and his forces marched upon Mordor towards Baradur, the Tower of the Dark Lord himself. Despite their losses, it was evident that Sauron's power was fading, and soon the free peoples of Middle-earth would be safe. I thought they are safe, though. Like, didn't he say that it's... The might of the oh, Dark shit. Lord! Jesus Christ, that was loud. But that's basically the credits. We'll see it soon enough. No need to worry about that. I'll record it separately. So, so there you go. You click continue. You wait for the ring. And that is that. The good campaign is over. Now for the evil one. But we'll get to that a bit later. Right now, I got other shit to do. Like trying to find out where the fuck did I put Empire of Two. That game is up next after this one. So, that one's gonna be interesting. And I need to see if there's any campaign to speak of. Because, well, if there isn't. And it's gonna be a short visit to Empire Earth 2. A very, very short one. Anyway, I'll see you later.